Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna do a just get ready with me video. I wanna try something new because I get so many requests to just say like, hey, how do you do that makeup look? And most of my makeup looks are so, you know, just what I do every day, they're nothing crazy, so um, it's hard to do like uh, another brown natural look. So I thought that maybe just doing some get ready with me videos, just so you can see different products that I use on a daily basis would be a little bit more useful, a little bit more up my alley. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and yeah, keep watching. Okay, so first I am putting on some Anastasia brow powder for my non-existent eyebrows. And if you hear, like, chomping throughout this video, Kyla is sitting underneath me chomping down on... What is it? It's like a pig, a pig's hoof. After my eyebrows are done, um, sometimes I put on gel. Like my, I, I honestly really hate this. It's the Master Shape Eye Studio by Maybelline. The thing I don't like about it is you have to sharpen the actual plastic. Like, look at this. It's just not very well made in my opinion. So I don't know. I'll pass on that. I'm gonna use my Murad primer. I do want to just kind of like figure out a way to make these kind of easy so I can do like a get ready with me video like once a week or every other week just because I feel like for me like doing just specific looks and tutorials is like fun and stuff but it's just not really practical for like um my life like I never really do crazy makeup looks they're all just you know natural things so I felt like it'd be It'd make more sense if I just did kind of like get ready with me videos and show you what I do on an everyday basis. This is my Smashbox under eye primer. When I don't use this, I notice such a difference under my eyes. Um, it looks way dry and just kind of cakey under there. So if you're having any issues with wrinkles under your eyes, um, this stuff is really, really good. It's just like a little, ugh, ignore my nails. So I'm gonna do a little bit heavier makeup right now just because I'm gonna film a hair tutorial curls. That's why I'm like air drying my hair so it kinda gets some natural wave. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HG just because it is the best coverage that I have. It's a little dark. Eesh, I'm almost out of it. I'm gonna use my Sigma um, F84. I like the F80 better, but this one is closer to me, so I'm gonna use it. So I just, you know, buff this stuff on. Somebody complained about my lighting in my last video, and I honestly thought it was pretty good. But here's the thing, it's like I could spend, you know, $200 if I wanted to, and get the box, softbox lighting, whatever it's called, and I just think like, I am not in any way like a professional filmer person. So why would I spend $200 on that? Like when I can save that for, to pay off bills and stuff. Maybe like down the road when I have a like a room just for filming if that ever happens. Um, the fact that I film in my bedroom, eh, a little weird. So I'm gonna take this down to my neck. So I apologize if you guys are um, offended that I'm not you know, investing in that stuff. And then I'll cover with some concealer. This is my cover RX by Physicians Formula. This stuff works really, really good. It's full coverage. I'm actually just going to use my foundation brush and just kind of go over any areas of redness. It's really pale though, so if you are... This is like the my lightest concealer, so if you're any darker th than me, which I'm guessing most of you are. I'm just, I usually just take this kind of like on my nose because my nose gets kind of dark on the sides. And around it. And then I have some pimples up here. So yeah, I am gonna do, like redo some of my hair tutorials so I can have them all on this channel. So I'm gonna do like a regular curl tutorial using my thickest curling iron, my one and a half inch, and then I'm gonna use, do one with like more of my beachy waves using a smaller curling iron, and then um, I don't know what else, whatever else you guys wanna see. This is my Lancome waterproof. 
um, concealer. And it's in here because my shade's too dark, so I keep going in and getting a lighter shade just so, um, you know, I can kind of mix them. And then I just take it kind of up and around my eyes. When I'm lazy, like right now, I just use my finger. But if I'm like just taking my time, I'll use a makeup brush to kind of blend it out. You also can use your foundation brush to blend out. This one's good because it's angled, so you can kind of get down in there. And you can use, I have a 10% off coupon um, underneath you can use if you want to get these brushes. Urban Decay Eden. It's kind of like a concealer looking eye primer. You really don't need that much of this stuff. I've been using my Laura Geller. I just got this. It is the Balance and Brighten. And this is actually the lightest shade, but it's not that light. I thought it'd be a lot lighter. So, a little bummed about that. But I'm getting a lighter shade. I'm, I have been using this too. I don't think I mentioned this. Um, oh, I, I Instagrammed it. The Advanced Mineral Makeup. It's just a little bit too light of coverage for me. So I'm going to get the powder and see if it's a little bit better. Then I'm going to take my Smashbox bronzer and kind of even out my neck to my face. And hopefully by the time I'm done with my makeup, I can start my hair to roll because my hair should be dry by then. Okay, using just a flat top brush, I'm just going to contour a little bit underneath my cheekbones and up on my forehead. For my blush, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown, which is the pale pink. It's kind of like a nice... I know it says pale pink, um, but in the pan it looks a lot brighter. But it just is a really nice blush. See, it's kind of... looks pretty bright. I'm also going to take some highlighter, Mary Luminizer. Uh, I'll just put some right on top of my cheekbones. Moving on to my shadow. So this is my Inglot palette. I'm, so first I'm using just this neutral color all over my lid. And I'm going to take like a... Um, a flat brush and then just a soft brown right here and put it on my lid uh, more on the outer the outer side and then blend it together with a fluffy brush like this color right here and just kind of work this back and forth in the crease And then once I have like the eyeshadow on, I just start blending a lot. Um, if you have smaller eyes, obviously it's going to be a little different for you. So, you know, use a smaller eyeshadow brush. And if you don't have a crease, you can kind of just make a crease with the socket of your eye. And then just work it back and forth. Um, just so you can blend it all out. Take a smaller brush, like this tapered one, and put this really darker color right um, on the outer part of my eye and then blend that down to the lash line. And taper it in. And then I'll go in with a blending brush after. start blending.
And I'm going to use um, like a light brown and just put it on the top of our crease to smoke it out. This is like a smudge down here. I'll just put some light brown on top. I'm gonna take like a little tiny brush with this champagne -y color and pop it in the tear duct. And then I'll go under my brow bone too. I'm using my Jordana Fabu Liner. Okay, so then just take an eyeliner brush and then a matte black and then just start going over it. And then you can just kind of bring it up and smoke it out. Keep in mind I don't do this every day, but just since I'm filming later, I'm, I'm going to spend a little extra time on my makeup, but if I do do these videos more often, you know, I could do ones kind of like when I'm in a hurry and just you can see different ways I kind of just apply my makeup different mornings. I'm going to line the outer part with a black. And then I'll line the inside with a nude color. This is my um, studio gear inline outline. I top my liner with a black. So it st sets in place. And then just using like a smoky little brush, use a light brown and then I just kind of blend it. Mascara. I just got a new mascara. It's a double extend tubes. I like it, but you have to use the white and then use the black like right after. Like you can't let it dry or else it's hard to put the mascara on top. But we'll use it. I got it because Candy Johnson has been using it for so long, so I was like, well. I'm gonna put this one on top because it's like link or uh, separating. I don't know if it's a primer. Oh my god, it like dries so fast. Like you have no time to work with it. Yikes. Eh. That sucks. For lips, Naked Lip Liner by Urban Decay. Oh, I'll just use what I used on my video, because that's what you guys liked. And then I used my um, Pinkberry lipstick by um, Estee Lauder. My stuff smells so good. So I hope you guys like this, um, minus the mascara. This is, I think, what I had basically for my um, best of video. So I'm going to go film my curl tutorial. My hair is almost dry. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!